Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, performing some more Super Mario Odyssey experiments. Last time I got through Top Hat Tower without capturing a frog. Uh, this is the same file, I've advanced it a little bit. As you can see, we're up to our first Power Moon. What I'm going to try to do is not get that Power Moon. Uh, this is the strat called First Moon Skip. Uh, I know it's possible on every version of Odyssey. Uh, but it's useless unless, unless you're on 1.0 because the Madame Brood fight at the top of the waterfall will only activate without getting our first power moon on 1.0. Um, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, the original one people discovered was you could get on top of this rock here, the one containing the power moon. If you got Cappy in the right position did a Cappy roll jump, you could get over there and make your way on without having to get this moon. Uh, I can't pull that off, I've tried. Uh, it's very hard, um, because of the way this rock is shaped. Um, Cappy goes into lots of different places, rather unpredictably, depending on exactly where you are when you do the throw. Uh, the easier way is called Wet FMS, because you do it by swimming over there. Uh, it might look like you can just jump up there. Uh, you can't, because there's actually an invisible wall that's there until you get our first power moon. Uh, I'll just demonstrate that. If I can get into the right spot. Probably if I do it here-ish. So you can see, I can't... Uh, that wasn't a good demonstration. Um. <laughs> but yeah, there, there is in fact an invisible wall in the way there. So if I you know, get into a decent spot to try to demonstrate that. Mm. Okay, well I'll just, I'll just do the cap return throw. Um, so basically, the problem is you can't jump high enough from water normally because you can't do any of the special kinds of jumps, like double jumps, triple jumps, that sort of thing. There is one you can do, however, and that is a cap return jump, uh, which is kind of an obscure case in normal play. You don't often do this in a regular run when trying to do strats and stuff. For speed runs, you may do it a lot. Basically, when you throw Cappy, when she comes back, if you jump immediately, you get extra height. And that works in water. Uh... I'm going to do it over here first. This isn't the spot that... I, I think it won't work in this spot on 1.2. Uh, but yeah, you can see there's an invisible wall there. That's what I was trying to demonstrate. Uh, there is a way to get past it, though. So if you come over here, uh, this is where the bridge would collapse to if you, you know, did it normally. But if you... Let's see, I would line it up just right. I think I need to be jumping off of... The positioning is very precise here. Uh, I think I need to be jumping off of that one. To get enough height, you can actually... Uh, what I want to do is basically wall kick off of that, that rock right in front of us there, and then I can dive to the right to get onto that part that's jutting out. Uh, I pulled it off off camera, so I know it's possible on 1.2. It is a bit harder, probably, than the one you could do over there on near the treasure chest cave, but... It works, and that one doesn't seem to in 1.2, so I'm going to do this one. Okay, that nearly worked. You can see what I'm trying to do, though. Yeah, we just want to dive up onto that one. It actually only took me a couple of tries um, off camera, once I figured out this was the strat I was supposed to do, so... Uh, I should be able to pull it off fairly easily. Again, there is an invisible wall blocking you. This is very easy to do, like later on, once you've done our first power moon. There we go. As you can see, I'm now up here, which is supposed to be impossible, until after you've collected the moon down there. Uh, but because the invisible wall is a Nintendo-grade invisible wall, it can be avoided. A lot of stuff up here won't be spawned yet. There should be a chain chomp in this area, I believe, for example. Uh, and there isn't yet. We are going to climb up here though, so I can hit this flag. And then the next thing we're going to want to do, uh, once we've saved that checkpoint like that, I want to find out if we can get inside the Odyssey. Uh, basically what's happening here is, uh, before there are three ways to get into the Odyssey normally. This front door here, which you can hit with Cappy. Uh, and then there's this uh, ground poundable spot up here. Neither of those work, but the third spot is a pipe at the back. Like, one of the Odyssey's little, like, smokestack thingies is also a pipe you can use to enter. And because you, because you can't get to that normally, because this ground is here, and Hindu didn't bother to uh, disable it. 
So if we can get back there, we can actually enter the Odyssey without repairing it or putting any moons into it. Um, the way to do that, I think you have to actually do first moon skip first. But now if you come over here, uh, where see this is where the bridge would land. So normally there'd be no way to stand where we're standing now. I believe if you just uh, ground pound around a bit in this sort of area, maybe rolling. It is possible to clip through the floor of this part because normally it's impossible to stand here, so it's a bit it's a bit leaky. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where the spot is, so I'm just gonna pound around a bit, see if I can find it. Hmm. Might need to check a video to know exactly where I'm supposed to be. Because I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be. I just know it's here somewhere. But I'm so glad I managed to pull off first moon skip. Oh jeez, I, I was sure it was impossible. Um, because the tutorials all tell you to come up here to walk off that rock. Uh, but that doesn't seem to work on 1.2. I guess they changed the walls around, but left another leak over here, which is kind of hilarious. Um, again, doing this on 1.2, like getting up here on 1.2 doesn't help you at all, because if you go up to the Madam Brood fight, it just won't activate, and you need to do that to actually leave the Cascade Kingdom. Uh, I'm just going to check this, uh, this video here I was looking at a moment ago. Uh, see if I can figure out exactly the spot I'm supposed to be ground pounding here. But yeah, basically if you find the right spot, you can just drop through the ground. Ah, it's there. Okay, so it's it's about here. It's gonna keep ground panning around. Hopefully I can clip through in the same way. I don't believe they fixed this in 1.2. I'm pretty sure this still works. So let's see. Having to roll through the ground didn't quite have, have the effect I intended. Yeah, it is just here somewhere, but I can't quite seem to find the exact spot. There we go. Okay. Okay, it's working. Uh, the camera doesn't really like this, as you can see. It's trying to stay in bounds. Uh, so we can get that treasure chest early, I think. Uh, I'm going to try to open it and see if it'll let me. Yeah, it will. Uh, I won't grab the moon just yet, but there is a moon you can get that way. Uh, if we keep swimming along here now that we're out of bounds, we can see the water continues for a little bit outside the boundaries of the level. Oh, wow. This is really cool. <laughs> Oh gosh, so you can see uh, the Broken Odyssey is way up there. Thankfully there's some other pieces of Odysseys we can use to climb our way up there. Also the, the sound is a little confused right now. Uh, a little bit, a little bit befuddled. Um, because you just sort of sink if you stay in, in place in the ground here, it's a little scary. And the camera doesn't want to play nice. Oops. Yeah, you have to be careful about that. You can fall out of the bottom of that water and just drown. Uh, which is why I hit this checkpoint. Because now we can just head back down there without having to do the first moon skip again. Whoa! Oh, the invisible wall! Oh, wow, that's interesting. Okay, I'll go around the invisible wall. <laughs> See, I just tried to long jump directly to that spot, but that passes over this area, which is where the invisible wall is. Actually, if you look, look at this. Look. See, this invisible wall here, which actually extends all the way up there, but I can go around it, so no problem. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so I'm just here somewhere. I think I might just need to keep chaining. Yeah, there we go. Yes, yeah, so that, that drops you into the water near that cave there. 
I think if I just push the camera under, underneath, that should... Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, this game's camera was not built for going out of bounds, which is not surprising because you're not supposed to go out of bounds. Uh, I think I want to go over here. Oops, stay, stay out, stay out, stay out of bounds. Okay, that, that messes with the camera some more, which isn't too helpful. So you can see the Odyssey up there. Uh, I don't know if that's the Odyssey or just like another airship. Okay, Cappy actually got stuck in bounds when I tried to throw her that way, so... Okay, there's actually some more invisible water here, which is really helpful. <laughs> Helps get a bit closer to the Odyssey. So yeah, that is the Odyssey above us right now. Uh, so if we want to get up there, we're going to have to fall out of bounds again. <laughs> fall out of the water. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay, um, so yeah, don't... Don't uh, long jump towards where you want to be. Go around, because there is still invisible walls there. Got a ground pound in approximately this spot over and over a couple of times. And eventually you will have enough speed. I think I think it's because you're building up speed. Just clip through and end up underwater. There we go. And we can swim along this way. I'm still using, like, calf return jumps here in order to get a bit more distance out of my jumps and stuff. Um, Oop. I wasn't tapping the button enough. <laughs> oh gosh, I I'm I'm dying a lot, but I'm having a lot of fun, so it's okay. Interestingly enough, spawning here actually gives you a coin, so don't ever die here if you're on a coinless run, I guess, because you spawn in this plant and it will give you a coin every time. I like how the game's giving me like sorry cap tutorials when I'm up here flipping out of bounds and stuff. Okay, there we go, so... Yeah. As you can see, the clip is very, very easy, because it's supposed to be impossible to ground pound in that piece of, piece of land, because the bridge collapses on top of it. Uh, okay, so you need to throw Cappy out of bounds, like that way, if you actually want to get a cap bounce out of her. Okay. Now another body of water. Uh, let's see, where are we? You can see a bunch of chain jumps just sort of sitting there above the ground, which is pretty cute. I'm just not sure what the best way to go from here is. Uh, I can see there's another like broken uh, airship over there, so maybe if we climb onto that one, we might be able to get somewhere to stand. Okay, the water actually extends all the way across here, even though it doesn't look like it does, which is interesting. Uh, I don't know where it ends though, so I gotta be careful. Because it's invisible. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I think I need to stand on one of these two broke one of these broken uh, airships. Okay, I bonked, but I'm okay. I actually went up inside that Odyssey for a second there. No, that's not actually the Odyssey, that, that airship. Um, this one is the Odyssey. Okay, we are now like directly below where we need to be. I don't know if we can gain enough height to get up there though. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh! Okay, that, that pool of water is very, very thin, so if you sink even a little bit, you will, like, just drop out of the bottom of the world. So watch out for that. Also, yeah, you definitely get one coin there every time you spawn, which is an interesting decision on Nintendo's part. Just here somewhere. I think I'm actually getting a little bit of speed each time, which is why it's working. Like, I have enough speed to clip through sort of thing. Okay, so we swim our way. I think we can just swim all the way to under the Odyssey. Yeah, uh, I reckon if we try to stand on that fake Odyssey over there, fake Odyssey, that other airship that you don't get to repair, so it's not the Odyssey. Okay, we went straight through it, but there's still water over here, which is interesting because we're really, really far away from where the water is now. So 
can say you can bonk on that ship if you want. Um, oops. <laughs> okay, I moved too far. I went out of the water. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. I don't know if you can tell. Um, like, I'm dying a lot, but it's from real weird stuff. And it's, it's fun. There we go. I'm so glad I figured out how to do first and then skip. Again, first moon skip, it's worthless. Um, you still have to get that first moon in order to clear this kingdom. But it's fun, so I'm going to do it. Um. <sighs> That's close. There's actually some ground there behind the, like, underneath the crumbly wall uh, where the pipe is. So if we can just jump ourselves up that high, we can actually just get in that way. Um. I'm gonna get a coin return respawn so I don't ever get to skip the coin getting thing. Like the coin losing thing on death, because I'm gonna keep getting a coin. <laughs> I think what you have to do is actually jump onto uh, one of those broken airships in order to get the height you need, but I'm not sure exactly. Oh, I could, I, the camera actually went into where I needed it to be for a second. So yeah, um, that area under there, since that, since the ground behind the Odyssey breaks away when it takes off, there's actually space back there already, uh, which we can stand in if we can get up there. It has, it has collision and all that sort of thing. Uh, I don't think we can get enough height though. Maybe, maybe, maybe with like a perfect. Yes. Okay, so now we're standing out of bounds behind the Odyssey. Uh, so you can see that the back of the Odyssey already exists. It's all modelled and stuff. Um, some parts aren't here, like the pipe that we can go into. So we'll have to find that ourselves. Basically, we have to do more ground pounding at random in order to spot where the actual entrance is. But yeah, um, this wall doesn't have a model on the back, so we can see out into the real world. And you can see... Uh, Happy is getting stuck and can't come back because she's actually going outside where the regular wall is and she just walks back. Uh, so yeah, the pipe should be just around here somewhere. Uh, don't jump too high because there is a ledge just above us and we don't want to accidentally, you know, clip back in bounds or anything. There it is. Oh my gosh. And we're in the Odyssey. Oh my goodness, we are now in the Odyssey at the very beginning of the game before we have anything. Oh my goodness. So what we can do in here is basically nothing. Uh, there's no things in here. I mean, there's the, there's the guidebook, but you can just get that by pressing minus anywhere. What I would like to do though is check if the wardrobe does anything interesting, because normally as soon as you have access to the wardrobe, you also get the captain's hat. I think. I might be wrong. Uh, but Cappy gives you the captain's head as soon as the Odyssey takes off for the first time. Um, so maybe if we look... Okay, yeah, the, we just have the normal Mario hat. That makes sense. Actually, I think it's possible to go into the Odyssey after restoring it b before taking off, and so you would only have the one hat in that case. So it is a normal thing. It's still cool, though. So yeah, we have zero power moons. If I, you know, go to my data options thing, I can show you... To this file we're currently playing, total power moons zero, and we're standing inside the Odyssey, which is supposed to be impossible. But we did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, if I leave the Odyssey now, I believe I'll just come out the door normally. I don't know if I can go back in. So let's find out. Okay, you saw the regular door closing as we came out, but because the broken door is still here, we can't get back in through it. Oh wow. It's really fun. <laughs> um, I'll probably go on and complete the kingdom. Like, we have to get our first power moon. I'll, I'll just do that off camera normally. Maybe maybe somewhat less normally since I've already done first moon skip, but we do need to get that moon in order to clear the kingdom, so. Uh, there are some moons we can get besides those ones. Like, we could, we could get that one in the chest by using a clip like we just did. Uh, actually, let me just experiment here. If we do that clip again, uh, we can go get that moon. Oop, watch out for the invisible wall. Watch out for the invisible wall. There we go. I just want to see exactly how many moons we have access to. I think it's less than five. Wow, I didn't even actually have to, like, ground pound. I just slipped in. It's really easy. Uh, so yeah, I can just jump into this room. 
supposed to be impossible to get in here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Until you've actually done the multi moon, which actually breaks away those blocks there. Which we can just swim through from this side if we want. Uh, we're gonna walk back up there because otherwise we have to do the first moon skip again. Okay, so that's one moon which normally you can't get. I want to see if you can actually reach five. I don't think you can. I, don't, I think there aren't enough that currently exist to actually get to five. Uh, the second one we can normally get, this one is just regular gameplay now, is you can get this one over here. Easy peasy, there we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's two. Uh, we should be able to get the one in the 2D section. There is a pipe under here that leads to an area with some moons. I believe all of those sorts of warps that you can't get to before the kingdom like changes somehow don't exist until you've actually done that. So just clipping out of bounds again probably wouldn't help us uh, in this situation, which is a bit sad. Checkpoint, there we go. Uh, that rock down there hides a door, which is similarly does the same sort of thing. Uh, here's the 2D area. Just gonna enter it the normal way. Accidentally get hit because I'm bad at video games. There we go. Alright, so the 2D area has another moon in it, which gets us to 3 out of 5. I don't think we're gonna be able to reach the right total, even with that extra moon from clipping out of bounds. That a goon before in my head. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, so that's three out of five. Um, you can't actually activate the Odyssey at this point, I believe. Uh, I might go and check actually whether it will let me use the Odyssey yet. There we go. Uh, you can get. A life up heart up here. It, it actually disappears after you've done this kingdom, unlike every other free life up heart in the game, which is a bit weird. Uh, if, but if we go to Madame Brood, we haven't done our first power moon, so when I go up there, Madame Brood is gonna not fight us, basically. See, it's supposed to activate the fight when we stand about here, and it hasn't. And we can't, we can't interact with her. Um, as you can see, we can't like capture a chomp. Cappy goes straight through. Uh, I believe we can take damage by touching her, if we... Yes, as you can see. Uh, there is another moon up there, but I don't think we can reach it. Uh, I don't think I have any glitches I can use to climb up to that moon. And that's about all I can think of, so I think three is the best we can do without getting those... getting our first power moon in, in the Madame Brood one. Let me just think for a little bit. Uh, we can get the... Is the T-Rex help us? I don't remember. Let's have a look. Uh, there are some moons you can get by smashing stuff with the T-Rex, but I don't think they're all available this early. So let's have a quick look. I just want to go down here. Break that pole. Uh, oh, no, that was the one, I think. Or it's possible it hasn't loaded stuff yet. Thankfully that water's shallow enough that the T-Rex won't die because the bridge isn't there to help us get across yet. Uh, this power line? Okay, no, it looks like none of those moons have spawned yet. Uh, there should be sparkles showing up when I break all those spots. At least one of these, I don't remember exactly. <laughs> You can actually kill this first chain jump here and make our first power moon actually impossible, which is interesting. <laughs> I don't think you can break that with the T-Rex. Let's have a look. Oh, you can. Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. Did not know that would happen. Oh, no, wait. I don't think I've broken it. Oh, okay, the T-Rex has such a big hitbox 
that I got Alpha's Power Moon without breaking the rock. Am I not trapped inside? Okay, no, I clipped out. Oh, wow. The rock is still there. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, wow. And there's no way to break it now because the chain chomp is gone forever. I assume when the kingdom, like, reloads when we leave, it'll, like, fix that. But still, that's pretty cool. I like how the rock is still glowing as there's a moon inside, even though we got the moon by clipping inside with the T-Rex. That's a pretty cool trick. <laughs> So, um, yeah, now that we've got that, this invisible wall should now be gone, so it should be super duper easy just to climb up there basically anywhere. Uh... See? Easy. Didn't take any effort at all. Uh, and now when we come over here, since we got our first power moon, this cutscene will play. Which is what makes the Odyssey work. If that hasn't happened, then you can't actually act interact with this globe, I believe. Uh... I guess I'm just going to go do multi moon top the falls now? Maybe? I might clip back... Uh, I can't clip out of advance again because I accidentally got Alpha's Power Moon without meaning to, so... Hmm... I don't think there's anything else I can get. I have one extra moon that I'm not supposed to be able to get this early, but that's not enough. I'm pretty much in the normal, like, run of the game now because I hit Alpha's Power Moon by accident. Uh... Yeah, okay, I'll just go do the one at the top of the falls. I might donor skip it just to show off. Um, you already went into the 2D section, so I'm not really doing much of a skip by doing dino skip, but, you know, I like doing it. Uh, I already showed this off in the crouching one because I thought it was required. Uh, but basically, you just gotta break these rocks over here to get that trampoline out, which lets the dino bounce up and get very close to where the boss would activate if you were up there. Uh, so I'm just gonna line up carefully. You have plenty of time to do this. Like, the dino is timed, but not, like, badly. As you can see, that activates the fight. And you can just go ahead and do it without going through the stuff it takes to get up here. Pretty easy. I don't know why it's called Dino Skip, like, you're not skipping the dino. Like, usually you say, you know, Moon Cave Skip first, Moon Skip, describing the thing you're skipping, but Dino Skip, you're using a dino to skip a 2D area, which is, like, completely different. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, this fight is easy. Uh, now that I've said that, I'll probably take some damage, but I'm just gonna just go ahead and do it. And I assume once I have done this, that the rock back to where Alpha's Power Moon was will have disappeared like it's supposed to. Uh, we'll see though. It might it might still be there, which would be interesting. Anyway, yeah, the boss is super easy, as you can see. And that gives you that multi-moon that she's wearing. Because she's wearing a multi-moon, who knows. And that's the first multi-moon in the game. Well, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, next time we'll be doing some stuff in Tostarina. Uh, I already have a sort of challenge idea in mind that I'll probably be doing. Um, I've done it off camera, so I know how, I sort of know how to do it, but uh, I had some trouble. <laughs> so yeah, we now have plenty of moons and we can activate that globe. Uh, and the kingdom will be, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Since the kingdom reset itself, this area is now in its normal state, and you can just, just grab the moon here again, and the rock is gone. So yeah, the kingdom is now in a normal state again. And... That was fun! <laughs> oh, wow. Um... Cool, um, yeah, I'm just gonna probably end it here for now. Uh, next time, we'll be in Tostarina, and I'll probably do some Tostarina stuff. So I look forward to that, uh, but that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, uh, 
I certainly enjoy discovering some of the interesting things you can do by clipping out of bounds in this game. Um, I'm just going to bounce around on Cappy a bit while I, while I finish off. Um, I'm really glad that that was possible in 1.2, even if it was completely useless, because it was really cool. Um, and I had fun doing it, so that's all that matters, really. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a bit too far for Cappy Ball Jump. Yeah. Hello, sleepy T-Rex. Do you do damage if I touch you? No. Can I stand on you? I can. I hadn't tried to do that before. That's cute. What if I, like... Nope, that didn't wake up the T-Rex. Alright, well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you appreciate the fact that 1.2 does let you do these kind of things, and they're not even that tricky, honestly. Um, doing it, doing, like... First moon skip from down here is much slower than doing it over there, like on the rock, when the rock is there, if you can do it perfectly. Uh, which is why, like, skilled speedrunners do it that way instead, but it's much, much harder to execute and you usually have to reset if you mess it up. Uh, whereas this one is much easier and just takes a few tries and it's hard to mess up, basically. Um, yeah, and so yeah, once you've done first moon skip, you clip out of bounds, you can get into the Odyssey if you want. All sorts of things. Pretty cool. <sighs> but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, I've said that four or five times, but this really is it for this video. <laughs> Bye!